Every once in a while, it's time to learn a new tool. And deep inside this old elevator at my makerspace, we find the CNC. One, two, three, in this video, I'll take you along on my adventure of learning this new tool and making my first real project with it. A QR code that is milled into a piece of wood. I hope this video will be an inspiration for people who don't know the tool yet or a motivation to use it more for those who have it already. Let's go! So the first step in this project is to create a QR code. I'm using qrcodemonkey.com for this. And at first I wanted to just type my YouTube channel name in there and then I realized maybe I will change it in the future and then the sign becomes worthless. So what I did was create a short link so I'm flexible to change wherever this QR code will lead to. Now I'll change some design parameters to round shapes which are easier to mill out and also they look cool and then I'll export to an SVG file. Importing this file straight into FreeCut didn't really work, as you can see here. But after cleaning it up in Inkscape, it did work. Now before I move on to the CNC, I want to try if this QR code works in actual physical materials. That's where my 3D printer came in handy. Okay, cool, it works. Let's continue. I added my channel name and a YouTube logo and the sign is ready. Now FreeCAD also offers a workbench for milling, so we will take advantage of that. We can set the output format for our CNC. We can instruct it where zero is on our stock material. We can set all our tools. And we can set the instructions for milling. Five minutes later. Hey, we have our pads. We can also make some pads for a round design and then we can start milling. The smallest parts of the design are about two and a half millimeters. So if we take a two millimeter end mill, we should be good to go. Let's find a matching collet. And install our end mill with the collet into the CNC. For the workpiece I'm using a part of concrete plywood. This has a dark outer veneer so it will give a nice contrast with the lighter insides. I'm not sure why I was actually sanding this down because we're milling a piece out of the middle of our workpiece so the edges don't really matter. I found a very nice support piece in the garbage bin. We screw the workpiece onto the support piece. Whoops. Now we can clamp down the support piece into the CNC. We have a special tool to make the machine understand where the material actually starts. So basically this is a very fancy button. We have to manually move the X and Y position around so it aligns with what we made in our design. But then we can start the job. However, the spindle didn't start moving. Oh crap, I better hit the emergency stop. If I wouldn't have stopped it, it would just bash into the wood with the end mill. Okay, well, let's give it another go. Ah, and this time the spindle does start. Ah, well, that's nice. Isn't this very satisfying to look at? Here, let me speed it up a bit. Uh oh, I spent a lot of hours finding out what happened. It turns out that some parts of the design look straight, but are actually an arc with a huge radius and the microcontroller running this CNC just can't handle it. I changed a setting in the FreeCAD path workbench, which basically turns any arcs into a lot of straight lines. The next day I was ready to try again. I had to replace my workpiece 
lock the workpiece into the machine and recalibrate the machine. Uh, oops, well, luckily it wasn't broken. Okay, with everything in place, we can try again. Hey, that's a good start. So something interesting happened here. I think the workpiece isn't mounted exactly flat. So in this part, the end mill is exposing a little bit material of different layers. So the darker layer also gets exposed here. Luckily in the other parts, only the bright layer was exposed. If you get just as excited as I do by this production or rapid prototyping technique, I have a recommendation for you. The sponsor of this video is PCBWay. And not only do they make PCBs, you can also send them a step file and they will mill it for you in a wide variety of available materials. This can be aluminum, brass, steel. All you have to do is go to their website and fill in the form. Thanks again for sponsoring this video, PCBWay. Come on, man, how cool is this? Love it. The garbage bin was also my rescue for the base. The sign fits into the base at an angle of 25 degrees. Since the CNC can only drill downwards, I need to make a little jig. Since this part doesn't have any small details, we can use a five millimeter end mill. That gets the job done a lot faster than a two millimeter end mill. Something weird happened in the path, so it kept doing the same for like five minutes. But after a little while it did continue. So here's our slot. Let's try if it works. Ah, perfect. Now we can mill around the slot. Oh. All I need for the machine to do this properly is the middle point of the workpiece. After calibrating the machine to this center point, I can start the job. Our machine doesn't have dust collection and there's a lot of dust. Ugh, confetti. Ugh. And there's our workpiece. Aha! Boom, there we are. Okay, that should be it. Put this here and this in here. Perfect. <laughs> it's really nice. Nobody likes splinters, so let's do a little bit of sanding. Wow, I love the way it came out. All right, let's do a test. One, two, three, this did not work every attempt, but I'm showing you a working attempt. I think it's because the contrast is not optimal on the QR code, but here it is working. My plan is to use this QR code sign for whenever I'm exposing my work somewhere public. I think the result is perfect for this and it looks really nice. Thanks a bunch for watching this episode. If you want to support what I do, one of the best ways is to become a Patreon. You get early access to my videos and I will mention your name in my videos. And there's a lot more perks than that. Take a look now on patreon.com slash Jens Maker Adventures. And if you like projects that involve wood, you will probably love this video where I make a music player out of old wine bottles. You can watch it right here.